Hey guys, welcome back to Not League to Legend. Today we've got a game against Liverpool in the Premier League and our first game in Europe of the save against Astana in the Europa League. Obviously, since you've last with us, we had the Europa League draw. I think the draw is pretty decent for us. <clears throat> we have Wolfsburg, Herenveen and Astana. I'm pretty hopeful that we could probably top this group. So, fingers crossed, we can get off to a cracking start against the Stana today. In the Premier League, we have only played the two games. We won both of them, 1-0 and 3-0 against Burnley and Wolves. So, we've still to let a league go in, but that might come to an end today as we play Liverpool. Transfer-wise, we let two people go. We never brought any more in. The bid for Dortmund came in for Karabakh for £25 million. I thought that was a offer that was, to be honest, too good to turn down. I'm sure we only signed them for like five or six million. Yeah, it's six and a half million, so we've made near enough twenty million in profit. And we let Kevlin go out on loan to Augsburg. Surprisingly he actually came to me and asked if he could go out on loan. So we did try and persuade him like to stay and tell him that we would guarantee him minutes, but he wanted to go out on loan, so he's away to Augsburg for the season. And as I says, well, we never brought any more in. We did try and sign a couple of one or two midfielders on loan just because we let two of them go. But I feel that we still have adequate cover. We were looking at wingers as well. But the wingers that we were looking at were just far too expensive. So I decided against going in for them. So with everything that's happened, this is the way the league is looking. Played three, seven points, one, two, drew one. And we're sitting in fifth place there now. We also got Stoke in the third round of the Carabao Cup. But I don't really see that as important, to be completely honest with you. But let's just get stuck into the Liverpool game. This is the team we're going to send out for it. We've got Maximiano on goals, Mousset, Bellis, Lagonja, Sanderson at the back, Esposito, Danilo, Sabojlai in the middle, Sinot and Antoni out in the wings, and Rizzo up top. I was kind of gutted that we couldn't bring anybody else in, mainly because <clears throat> we don't have the biggest squad and having Europe this season and the Premier League isn't the best thing for teams that are small. So we're going to need to monitor our players' fitness every match. So they don't get run down. <clears throat> so far, Liverpool are all over us. And Haaland tucks in his sixth of the season. And puts Liverpool one nil up. Let's demand a bit more. We know we're capable of giving Liverpool a game. We've done it last season. Might need to take Sabojlai off at half time, he's knackered already. Sanderson's going down the right hand side, he gets to cross in, but no one was there. Mo Salah was the one that cleared it for Liverpool. Jota crosses it in, and we managed to scramble it away. That seems to be that for the first half. So, not playing the best. Uh, I totally forgot to take Sabaj Light off. So, get Sabaj Light off with Gilmore and we'll just switch the two around. I've also seen that Sonot seems to get a yellow card a lot. So I won't be surprised if, <coughs> excuse me, he gets a lot of suspensions. But we've not been at the races today. To be completely honest, we've not been at the races so far this season at, at all. We've not been playing well. I don't think we've played well this season, to be completely honest with you. I 
think Sonata's not having a good game. I would like to take off quite a lot of the team, but sadly we don't have that amount of subs to make. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't feel we've played very well at all this season. So far anyway. Right, let's go. Very attacking for the last few minutes. Vlavic nearly scored the equaliser there. That was very unlucky. Salah now. Going down the right. Passes it back to Trent. Long ball on forward. But Sanderson heads it calmly back to Maximiano. And that looks like it's going to be time. Yep, 1 0 defeat away to Liverpool. Not the worst result. Just would have probably have liked to have shown a wee bit more oomph in the game. But as I says, we've not shown that at all. But yeah, we're just not being at the races at all. So hopefully we can pick up a really good victory over Astana in the next episode. So I'll be back with you in just a minute with that one. Right on my back, this is the team we're going to send out for the Astana match. We've got Maximiano on goals, Mousset, Martins, Lagonja and Sanderson at the back, Esposito, Danilo and Sabozlai in the middle, Sonot and Antoni on wings and Vlavic up top. Bellis and Arizo are out for the next month, month and a half and I don't know why but for some strange reason when we were picking the squad for the Europa League I missed out Braithwaite. I don't understand how I missed out Braithwaite but in between matches i just seen that, for some strange reason, most of our team were in the under-18s. I don't know if I've misclicked somewhere. So I think maybe that's why I missed out on him. I don't know why I only missed out on him, but we did. So if we do get through, we need to register him in the next window. And as you can see, we can't fill our bench. So this first half of the season is going to be pretty tough with fitness issues. But hopefully we can hold out to January where we can bring in some reinforcements because I totally misjudged the situation. But let's get to the positive sides. Middlesbrough are back in Europe. We're back in the Europa League. I think it was 2006, around about then, 2007. Can't really, really remember what date. But I think it was round about then that they finished second. So let's see if we can get them back to that position again, challenging for the European title. That would be lovely. Sanderson's got a corner here, but was well saved, I think, from a Martins header. Looks like Heron Venus took the lead against Wolfsburg. Which is kind of surprising. I thought Wolfsburg may have well, well, probably have won that game. But we're passing it around lovely the now. We seem to be up for this game a lot more than the last one. And Sinot takes it round the keeper and slots it home. I know technically this should be a game that we are guaranteed three points, but you never know in Europe. <coughs> Sanderson with the free kick here towards the back post. Val Vlavic was there, but gets saved. It gets dropped to Sinot, and he sticks away the second of the game, and uh, his second of the season. And Tony is now picked up an injury and Sinot is shattered. So we're going to need to take off Antoni before he gets any worse. Loengo is the man for him. We'll just leave Sinot on the now. 
Sanderson with a throw. Th- throws it basically to no one. But we've got the ball back. Sabojlai through to Sonot. Oh, Sonot on the volley. That would have been a good goal. That was unlucky. <coughs> Loengo crosses it into Vlavic, who headers, but it was just too far out. Tried to loop it over the keeper, but it was unlucky. Stana trying the long ball, but Lugonja is there to tidy it up. That's a good pass to Sobojlai. Can he get the cross in? He does. Loengo is there to get his first of the season and put his 3 0 up. <coughs> Corner from Sanderson towards the near post again, but Martins couldn't get it. Loengo's there, but shoots wide. Danilo to Sinot. Danilo plays it forward to Loengo. Loengo is in and penalty. Sinot will probably be taking this for his hat trick if it gets given. And it is. He does and he slots it home. That's his first hat trick for Middlesbrough. Puts his 4 0 up. I think we'll make our last two subs. We'll bring off we'll bring off Esposito for Thiago and we'll bring on Gilmore for Sabojlai. We'll play Gilmore in the Mazala role, see what he can do there. Yes. Gilmore is in and Gilmore lobs the keeper. That was a cheeky wee chip. I would like Vlavic to get on the score sheet. He did score in between the two episodes. I think he actually might have scored twice. I'm not sure on that one. But Astana's passing it around nice to now. But that was a wavered pass. We've got the ball back. Mousset down the left. Plays it into Sonot, who tries to get the cross in, but it's blocked. Gilmore now shoots, but hits it wide. <clears throat> and, of course, we've made the three subs, and we get an injury. I don't think we can make another one. No. Oh, well, that's another man down. Hopefully, Antoni is not majorly injured. Else we're going to have a problem out on that right hand side. <coughs> Vlavic through to Gilmore and that was a pretty poor shot by Gilmore there. Sanderson to Gilmore to Danilo. Mousset now to Sinat. Finds, Gil- finds Gilmore and it's well saved by the goalie. Corner into the front post, but it gets cleared. Sanderson's got it again to Martins to Lagonja. Danilo shoots, but it's blocked. Can Danilo find Vlavic here? He finds Gilmore back to Danilo to Gilmore. Sanderson now, and Sanderson just runs out. <sighs> Stan up with the corner, and they score. Pretty disappointed to let that goal in. We're usually really good at defending the corners, but that was a powerful header from the centre half of Astana. 
And I think it's going to finish 5-1. Three points in the bag. Decent one. Disappointed not to get a clean sheet, but one's a one. Luengo is out for three weeks, and Antonio is out for five days, so he'll miss the next match. So we've got a wee bit of a problem out in the right-hand side for the next few matches. But this is the way the group and league is sitting. We've still got seven points from four games, sitting in fifth place. And we top our group so far, having played 1-1. One, one, one. So, pretty good start in the Europa League. Decent start again in the Premier League. Remember, we were supposed to be in a relegation battle. Well, a maze of relegation battle last year, but the board apparently wanted, top, wanted to finish in the top half of the league. Now, they want us to qualify the, for the Europa League again, but... Hey ho So, the next time we'll be back will be for... Europa League game against Herenveen and the Premier League game away to Southampton. So if you liked that, please leave a like on the video. If you'd like to see more Football Manager 22 content on the channel, please subscribe, turn your notifications on and thank you very much for watching.